Hello, my name is Yves Robert. I'm a PhD student at UC Berkeley, and this is my research project. This project concerns bevel bed reactors, or PBRs, which are high temperature advanced reactors, either cold with gas or molten salt. Their fuel is encapsulated in very resistant triso-particles contained in graphite pebbles circulating in the core. PBRs are interestingly safe thanks to their outstanding thermal properties and avoid any risk of core melting accidents. They are also competitive, proliferation safe, can be modular, and be used with other industries like hydrogen production. This is why they recently gained back attention from researchers, companies, and policymakers with the common goal of having fast deployment. But for this, we need a deeper understanding of their behavior because of the little feedback we have from the past. And this first has to go through simulation and hyperfidelity, which here means that the core must be realistically simulated, following each pebble individually. This is what motivated my project. But this goal is not simple. PBRs contain tens to hundreds of thousands of pebbles, and in these reactors, neutrons travel large distances before to be absorbed, and therefore they influence their neighbors. Coarse resolution approaches are currently used as the one that is shown here with large uniform flux regions, but this method suffers from accuracy limitation. So we need to track each pebble to be accurate, while it is, of course, computationally challenging. But recent developments for computers and clusters and the use of parallelization allows for full-scale Monte Carlo simulations and new codes using innovative transport methods and proposing features that are more adapted to PBRs greatly improve our possibilities. Higher resolution gives access to important local and extreme values like pebble-wise isotopes concentrations or burn-up. That is how we get from this simplified image to the individual depletion map that we have on the right. On top of that, higher fidelity can also be used to validate results obtained with these coarser methods. Another modern innovation is that we can track pebbles motion with time. This diagram shows the pebble circulation. They move from one end of the core to the other, and when recirculating, they are assessed to see if they should be reinserted for another pass or be discharged instead. This produces a random, continuously evolving pebbles mixing which is important in order to reproduce the pebble bed behavior. The motion can either be calculated by using a slug flow assumption or more accurate methods like discrete element models. But coupling the neutronics and motion then enables us to study recirculation and recycling parameters, analyze equilibrium states of even slow transient responses in PBRs. Beyond better understanding these reactors, having such realistic picture of their operation has many outcomes. This can directly inform designers about local values and important safety parameters, like picking factors or outlet composition. But it can also be used as source there in other fields like fuel performance, thermal hydraulics, or waste management, in which models need accurate compositions and extreme values as an input. And this is why my research on hyperfidelity simulations in pebble bed reactors is needed for deeper understanding and an acceleration of the development of these advanced reactors. Thank you for listening to me. And if you have any questions about it, please email me.